going down. Let's begin with the Thunder, the ship that was built in Norway and sank in 2016. The ship was a fishing vessel and sank off the coast of West Africa after it was discovered to be fishing illegally near Antarctica. A conservation ship named the Bob Barker had been chasing the ship for three months, trying to impede it from unloading its cargo and thus getting rid of its evidence. But it seems that the crew sunk the ship on purpose at the direction of the owner in order to get rid of the evidence. The crew was then rescued by the people chasing them and were turned over to the authorities. The captain and two officers were convicted of sinking the ship and were sentenced to two years in prison and fined for a total of 15 million dollars. Which is basically a life sentence of working to pay this off. This happened last year in the Cebu province in the Philippines. The ship had arrived at the port to drop off its cargo and passengers and while they were trying to maneuver a large truck to get it off the ship, the truck suffered a transmission problem and it was unable to move. This caused all the weight to be on the starboard side of the ship and it started tilting. It eventually flipped onto its side and the coast guard was able to rescue all 149 passengers with only 11 suffering minor injuries. The ship went down with four other vehicles inside. You would think that they would evacuate the people first, then the cargo. This cargo ship was carrying cement along the Yangtze River in China when it completely capsized after hitting some rocks. That thing flipped over incredibly fast and I don't think the people even had a chance to jump off. In the end, the seven crew members were rescued safely. After the ship flipped, it kept going down the river showing the incredible damage to the hull. I doubt these ships have any sort of radar or other equipment that could have told them how close they were to running aground. This ship is named the Queen Hind and at the time it was being used as a livestock carrier in 2019. This ship capsized and ended up resting on its side in the Black Sea near Romania. All the crew members were rescued pretty fast but the ship was carrying over 14,000 sheep. About 32 were able to escape and were saved as they swam in the water initially and then 222 were saved from the ship afterward. But the rest unfortunately died. Poor animals didn't even know what was happening to them. In September of last year, a ship owned by Hyundai that was carrying over 4,200 cars suddenly caught on fire off the coast of Georgia in the United States. Then it started tipping and it capsized. All 24 crew members initially could not be located, but eventually they were saved. The ship is still sitting there today, but there are plans to cut the ship into pieces and remove it from the waters. The cars are still inside and they will see if any of them can be saved. The $39 million super yacht named Yogi sank off the coast of Greece back in 2012. The ship was 60 meters long and it was only one year old at the time of sinking. The ship found itself with mechanical failure during a storm and it was unable to move as the weather bashed it and eventually caused it to start flooding. The coast guard was able to rescue all eight people on board minutes before the ship completely sank into the water. Can you imagine spending $39 million and losing it in less than a year? I mean, he almost likely had insurance, but still, it has to hurt. The SS American Star is a really famous cruise ship that although it did not sink or have any troubles when there were passengers aboard, the videos of the ship being destroyed are amazing. 
On January 17, 1993, the ship was being towed from Greece after years of neglect, but during the process they encountered a thunderstorm and the tow lines broke. They tried to reattach the ship, but were unsuccessful. Eventually, the ship was just left to go adrift. The next day, the ship ran aground at Playa de Garci off the coast of the Canary Islands. The ship stayed there until the incredibly strong waves destroyed the ship completely over the course of 20 years. As of 2013, only a small piece of the bow is visible on low tide. The ship SS Principessa Jolanda was a ship that would be used to travel over the Atlantic Ocean. It was the largest ship built in the time by Italy. During the initial launch in 1907, they set the ship on the water and it became immediately unstable and started to flip onto its port side. The lean was so severe that it started taking on water and eventually it capsized. Although efforts with tugboats and lowering the anchor on the other side were tried, nothing worked. The ship eventually sank until only a little bit of its side was visible. They concluded that it sank because they had installed all the fittings on the ship but didn't place any coal in the bottom, causing it to be very top heavy. What a shame to lose such a beautiful ship. The MTS Oceanus cruise liner was launched in 1952. It was 152 meters long and could carry a total of 550 passengers. The final voyage occurred in 1991 when the ship started sailing off the South African coast when it encountered very rough seas. The ship was being hit by freak waves constantly and so it caused a pipe shell plating to fail and allowed water to start flooding into the ship. At 9.30 at night, a small explosion was heard causing all power to be lost. The next morning, the ship was discovered leaning on its starboard side. The passengers were never notified of any problems, but the captain and the crew left the ship, which left the entertainers to take charge of the evacuation. The South African government sent helicopters to rescue people, and many boats assisted. All the passengers were saved. The next day, the ship was completely on its side, and the sinking was caught on tape. The captain and crew were convicted of negligence for fleeing the ship and many people believe that the captain must go down with the ship or be the last one off of it. Of course, we have all heard of the most recent cruise liner to go down and that is Costa Concordia, which capsized and sank off the Isola de Giglio in, in Tuscany in 2012. This massive cruise ship was launched in 2005 and cost $570 million to build. It was 290 meters long. The ship was traveling next to the land so people could take a closer look at the island, but they miscalculated the coast and got way too close. They struck a rock that tore open a huge 50 meter gash on the port side of the hull. It started flooding the engineer room which cut power to the ship and the engines. Then Captain Scatino decided to let the ship drift towards the land where it ran aground and started tilting on its side. It took over 6 hours to rescue 3,229 passengers, but sadly, 32 people did die. The captain was later arrested and sentenced to 16 years in prison for manslaughter, causing a maritime accident and abandoning the ship. Here is a clip of the Coast Guard yelling at the captain to get back on the ship and lead the evacuation. He did not listen to the order though and was later arrested. It cost over $2 billion to raise the ship and then dismantle it completely for scraps. Some of these ships are so big and powerful that you would deem them impossible to sink, but those words will always come back to bite you in the ass just like it did to the Titanic. It's really amazing to see these ships leaning on their side and even more incredible when they disappear under the water. <laughs> 